Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about mean of egress. I love this topic and I was obsessed with this topic when I was learning it because I think it's so interesting. I didn't know this but it made completely sense when I was learning it. Um, mean of egress, the definition of this is a clear and unobstructed path within a building or an area to a safe location, to a public way. So you are leaving the potential dangers within a building, getting to a public way. Have any of you, when you go to the movie theater or when you go to a restaurant, you go through the front door, you go sit at your table, go to watch your movie, then you get up, go back to the same way you came in, right? So if there's a danger or something happening, what's your first instinct? You get up, go out the same way that you came in. That's what the majority of people do. And in fact, there is a, it's a very sad case that happened years, years ago. Um, it was at the station, I believe the station it was a nightclub in Rhode Island, where uh, there was a band playing and they used, um, I believe there were like fireworks within within the, the, their show, maybe not fireworks, but some type of luminary that spark and the finishes for that building were very combustible and they got, they caught fire and people were trying to leave the building the same way that they came in. And what happened, people in the rush to try to get out got to stumble and they fell in the door and you can see it, it, it is a terrible video, but it's available in the internet. You can see people stuck on top of each other, blocking the front door. A hundred people lost their life that night. And you can see in the video, the exit through the back door was open and nobody was going through that exit door. Terrible, terrible. So that's what I, I tell my kids, like, where is the second exit? look a different way try to leave the building in a different way that you came in because someday you may save somebody's life so let's talk about a little bit of the components of the mean of egress i'm going to use non-code terminology just regular day-to-day -day terminology so we have stairs if you're in an upper floor you will look for the stairs right you will look for the door to get out exit access you're going to look for the corridor if you are in a fourth story building office building you are in one of the office the first thing you're going to look okay let me look get to that door let me get into the corridor once i'm in that corridor which way i have to go to reach my stair to get out okay it's smoke get down and look for those fire exits they are lights that they illuminate even if the power is off those lights are still gonna be on because they are battery backup and, and they have a, that's that's the purpose to be activated when there's an emergency. And so you look for those areas and those, the door to get into the corridor, that corridor itself is protected. You have sprinkler systems, you have fire alarms, you have the stair itself then sometimes you go down the stair and you cannot get out directly, but then it may be another passageway to get into a different area. But the buildings are designed to get you safely from one point to another one. If you enter a stairwell, those stairs are fire rated. They're designed to sustain fire longer than other elements in the building. So those are, uh, when it's a mean of egress element they are designed to protect you by traversing the building in a safe way now think about ramps you have to have ramps for when people with accessibility issues um, are in the building the fire code and the building code have what is called area of refuge because if it's a person in the upper level and they cannot reach the stair, they cannot go down the stair. They're gonna stay in a safe place and communicate with somebody letting them know, hey, I'm here, please come and get me. That is the area of refuge. That's the intent of the area of refuge. 
There are many elements. I'm probably gonna give you a list, a little bit more detail in one of my blogs. Let me know if you have more questions. I can, I think I can talk a little bit more, but I like to make you think. Real life situation, when you go anywhere, look for those exit signs. Any place that can accommodate more than 50 people, it doesn't mean that there are 50 people in there, but if it's big enough to fit 50 people or more, should have at least two exits so if it's big enough to fit 50 people look around there is a way a second way to get out and if a business is blocking that or doesn't have it you can call them out you can call your fire department and tell them look they're blocking or they're not letting us get out in that area no it's it's not intended to have everything ready to get out but a lot of them say occupy this exit in case of an emergency, which is allowable. But make sure that those exits are there for you and your loved ones when you're in, in any place, in any public place. I will see you next time. Bye.